So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is VBoxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you guys click on to any of these videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of these videos. As always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So this is a belated reaction to Tyson Fury's comeback fight last night against his opponent, Sefa Severe. And Tyson Fury won the fight via fourth round retirement. Sefa Severe didn't come out for the fifth round. And the whole fight was a joke. The build-up to the fight was a joke. It just turned out to be a total farce. The fight was a mismatch. Tyson and his opponent were just not serious. Like, Tyson Fury, I don't know where he is in terms of his mental capacity right now. I don't know where he is mentally, Tyson Fury. Because physically, yeah, he's still got a lot of work to do. But yesterday in the fight against Sefa Severa, there was flashes of the old Tyson Fury. And you can tell that Tyson Fury still has the ability like the foot speed there was bits and bobs there the hand speed was still there and stuff like that but he does need to do some work physically he does need to drop about another stone and a half in my opinion and yeah the fight itself you know what i mean what can you really say about it tyson fury and his opponent kissed <laughs> before the opening bell like i'm not homophobic or anything like that like if you're gay or something like that then that's up to you that's your life in it you do what you're doing at the end of the day like people shouldn't really judge people on what they do in their own private lives and stuff like that but i just think tyson fury and his opponent doing that yesterday he just made boxing look a little bit like a joke tyson fury and his opponent doing that and then the fight itself like soon as this guy got hit he just quit like for the first few rounds tyson fury was just clowning him showboating and stuff like that and Tyson Fury, you know what I mean? He doesn't look great physically. He was very, very rushed there. Like I said, there was flashes of the old Tyson Fury there in terms of his ability and stuff like that. But Tyson Fury is a naturally talented guy in terms of his boxing ability. But physically, like I said, there's still work to do. But I just don't know if he's there mentally still, you know what I mean, in terms of where he's at in his mind frame. Like, he should have just went in there yesterday and done a job on this guy. Yes, this guy was a mismatch opponent tyson fury knew this the fans knew this but you know what i mean tyson fury should have just come out there for however long it took him and just done a job on this guy and then did all the showboating and all the tyson fury s stuff that he does you know what i mean because people are just not going to take the guy seriously if he's going in there and just messing about the way he did against this guy yesterday because the fans turned on it very quick like some of the fans in that audience like, they didn't really know how much of a mismatch this was. So, when the fight actually turned out to be a massive mismatch, like, the fans didn't like it, they reacted badly, they were booing, there was fights breaking out in the fucking audience and stuff like that in the arena. So, you know what I mean? Tyson Fury, I think for his next fight, he needs to be turned on. And I don't know what's going on in terms of his corner, who he's got with him, like Ben Davison and Ricky Hatton. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good fit for Tyson Fury. I think Tyson Fury needs a strong character in his corner, somebody to rein him in, because Ricky Hatton and Ben Davison, are they going to be the guys who are going to rein him in? You know what I mean? Ben Davison's, what, 25, 26 years old? Like, he's younger than Tyson Fury. He hasn't really got the experience of somebody like a Tyson Fury. He hasn't been a professional boxer. He was an amateur boxer, I believe. But, you know what I mean? A lot of people are thinking, what can this guy teach Tyson Fury? in terms of boxing ability, how can this guy tell Tyson Fury the right instructions in a fight, you know what I mean, if it's a big fight, so a lot of people feel like if Tyson Fury eventually does step back up to the level he was at, he needs somebody in his corner, and I think he needs to go back with his Uncle Peter, I really do, I don't know what that situation is with his Uncle Peter, apparently it's not a very good one at the moment, like they fell out big time, this is what people are saying here, the rumours, obviously they're not really getting along at the, mo at the moment, Tyson Fury, and his uncle peter this is what's apparently happening behind the scenes and i think that's a shame because tyson fury needs somebody like a peter fury peter fury is a very serious guy when it comes to boxing he's a guy who takes um training fighters very very seriously like we've seen it with his son Hue. and he puts up well in the past he's put up with tyson fury's um banter and stuff before the fight his pre-fight banter with opponents his controversial stuff before fights like just the Tyson Fury character of whole but when it get when it's getting down to business Peter Fury is a guy 
who takes it very seriously and he's a guy who can rein Tyson Fury in. We've seen that in the past. Like his biggest fight against Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, there was a lot of um, trash talking and that before the fight coming from Tyson Fury. But when he actually came to the fight, he boxed to the game plan that him and Peter had before the fight and he stuck to that game plan very well and is he going to do that with somebody like a Ben Davison if Ben Davison gives him a game plan is he going to go out there and execute it against a top level opponent this is what I'm thinking with Tyson Fury at the minute so physically and mentally I'm not sure if Tyson Fury can ever get back to what he was before you know what I mean like Tyson Fury is just a very very erratic character this two and a half years out of the ring has really affected his really affected his career from a mental point of view and from a physical point of view because he didn't look in great shape yesterday at all he looked very very flabby 276 pounds but this was expected Tyson Fury's had to drop a lot of weight but I'm just saying if he's ever going to step in the ring with a top 10 heavyweight or with the heavyweight champions then he really needs to sort it out you know what I mean like I said from his physical and mental point of view and a lot of people were saying before this fight, Tony Bellew was mad for calling out Tyson Fury, saying that he could beat Tyson Fury now. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, Tony Bellew's stupid, he's deluded. But after watching him fight this Sefer Severi guy last night, I'm just saying, if that was Tony Bellew in the ring with him, then, boy, Tyson Fury could have had a very, very hard night. And Tony Bellew might have been correct in saying that the timing was right for him to fight Tyson Fury in a comeback fight. Like, I don't think Tyson Fury should... Think about getting in the ring with even a Tony Bellew in his next couple of fights. Like, this guy really needs to go in there and focus. Yeah, it might be against Tomato Cans and how much can Tyson Fury get up for that? That's what I'm saying. He needs somebody who can get him up for these kind of fights, you know what I mean? Even if they are journeymen and guys who are very limited, he needs someone in the corner to say, yeah, these guys are limited. You should be doing jobs on these guys, but still be focused when you're out there. Be focused on the job on hand because... You know what I mean? If he's ever going to step up to any kind of level again, he needs to be sharp in terms of his mentality in the ring. But I don't think Tyson Fury at the minute is there. Like, I don't think he'll ever replicate what it looked like yesterday. I don't think he'll ever replicate um, what he did against Vladimir Klitschko um, almost three years ago, especially on that performance last night against Sefa Severe. So it is what it is at the end of the day with Tyson Fury. We're just going to have to see how he gets on. It's a process of taking it one fight at a time with him. But like I said, I'm not really sold on this um, team of Ricky Hatton and Ben Davison. Like, I really am not sold on this, you know what I mean? So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.